This image of a recent attack in Volgograd is seared into the minds of Russian security officials, but it's likely this image is as well. For nearly 42 years, every Olympic host city has resolved no pictures like this can be associated with their games. The Munich attack in 1972 changed everything as far as the Olympics was concerned. It wasn't that the Olympics were being attacked, it was that the whole world was watching the Olympics, thus it was a stage. September 5th, 1972, at the Munich Summer Games, eight Palestinian terrorists in a group called Black September sneak into the Olympic Village, into the Israeli athletes' quarters. They kill two Israelis immediately, hold nine others hostage for about 18 hours. This is a contemporary image in our virtual studio of the Israeli team quarters at 31 Connolly Strasse in Munich. It was wide open. The Black September terrorists wore track suits, carried assault weapons in duffel bags. They got past a simple chain link fence. Others who saw them thought they were real athletes who were sneaking back into the village after a night out. Part of the lack of security was intentional. Those Olympics had been dubbed Die Heiteren Spiele, the Happy Games. The Germans were very sensitive to the image that they were going to give uh, forward because the only other time the Olympics had been in Germany was 1936, which were the Nazi Olympics. And so uh, the new Germany, West Germany, wanted to portray that they were a nation of peace. During a botched rescue attempt, the remaining nine Israeli athletes were killed. Since Munich, security at just about every Olympics has steadily expanded in size, sophistication, and cost, and all that accelerated after September 11th. We use the best of our human and machine intelligence. We monitor activities of persons that we know have stated or have raised issues against the host country at the Olympics. We use on the ground physical security to an extent that's in Sochi beyond any prior Olympics. Drew McKay, who has consulted on security at six Olympics, says as a result of Munich and 9-11, we now can't go to an Olympics without having a security blanket placed over us, without multiple layers of security screening. Security at each Olympics costs hundreds of millions of dollars, and security resources are diverted from other areas that then become vulnerable. For those reasons, he says, the terrorists have in some measure won.